Hello there. So you manage to decide on what hinges you're going to use, but to give you a little bit of idea, these are the French door hinges. And these are a drop-on type hinge, so you can remove the door. So I'm going to try and do this one-handed, so you can just see. I've opened the door fully, and they are, should be able to lift the, the door off the... See, she said <laughs> one-handed. As you can see, the gap appearing in the hinge as I lift the door. Look, take it right off. <laughs> yeah, uh, the door just fell off. <laughs> so you can see there, you got the pin for the door. Here you can see the pin for the door. And then you've got the opposing on the door itself for the other part of the hinge. And that drops on top of that pin. So let's put the door back on. So you can use a door, a, a door lifter, which is like a foot controlled pedal like a rocker on the bottom of the door and you can use that to help line up and take the weight of the, of the door. There you go. So the door does come off as you saw. <laughs> so that's the good thing about these French hinges. Unlike the, the English butt hinge, um, they're a little bit more fiddly. You, some English butt hinges you can't remove the pin. If you've got a loose pin type you can knock the pin out then take the door away from the actual uh, of, away from the lining. Um, one thing to watch out for though is if you've got heavy or thick architraves, you might find the architraves will get in the way. You might have to remove the architrave to have to remove the door. That's where they're not quite so good. But um, we haven't got them on yet. There's no architraves on yet. Hello. Okay. We're talking about packers or shims. On this door lining, it's exactly what we've got here. We have one at the top here, and they're fixing. We've got one down the bottom here, and they're fixing. And then we've got another one down here. And we've got another one down the bottom. And they're making up this gap, because there's a gap between the lining and the actual framing of the opening. And whenever you use these shims, it's a good place to put, as a rule of thumb, put them wherever they are likely to have any kind of compression from your screws. For instance, when you're putting your screws or your nails into your door line, that's where your packers need to go. But also, it's a very good idea to put them there where your hinges are, because you'll be having obviously more movement where the hinges are, because that's where the load is taken. So it's a good place to put them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, will you? And subscribe. Be most kind of you. Yeah.